Hello, Hans here, um, and in this video I'm uh, gonna show you inside the machine room, or the engine, of um, how I constructed this uh, blocking system, uh, automated blocking system. So let's uh, dive in, and I'm uh, gonna apologize on start with that this is going to be uh, a bit technical and a bit nerdy but um, it's still vis more visually pleasing to look at this than uh, a python script so um, let's get into it this is the main script which generate outlines it uh, generates titles intros conclusions all that for the article it writes sections for the article um, it uploads images to WordPress, which we'll use in um, mid article format. And then it um, uploads articles to WordPress. And it also uh, gets articles back from WordPress. Um, if we ever want to uh, get an article back. So how this looks like um, is I can show here that this world's most expensive coffee, coffee luak, we can then go and uh, generate the outline. I'll show you how this looks. This is a webhook, then gets activated and uh, draws in the information from air tables. Uh, I have some sleep timers in. Then it routes down to this uh, other router, and then this is the outline router, because I have different outline generators, depending on which outline I would like to generate. So this is an outline where we have uh, scraped a uh, URL, and we have a lot of information. This one up here is if we don't have a scraped um, URL, if we just want to make up an outline based on uh, the keyword research without uh, having too much information. I also have a review outliner and a how to outliner. So now we generate the outline and it sent that back and we can see this is what it generated. We can now go into this um, box here and see what we're actually doing. We are uh, calling upon GPT-4 because that's the best um, large language model at the moment for writing. We add a system prompt, your professional blog writer, task writing a blog post outline and following the instructions. Always write the most important information first. Um, and that is, there's a lot of prompts here. Uh, but these first ones are the most important. And I always like to tell it to write the important stuff first, because I like to write yeah, the important things first. So why not have it write that as well? This is a system prompt, and then we'll go down to user prompt. So it will create a blog post outline based on SEO outline, review summary, and then we draw in um, directions from uh, air tables and then we go down to how it should be formatted the outline create this is how many paragraphs uh, or sections and then including between one to three subtopics in each section don't write the sections only the outlines then we go down and show it how an outline will look <clears throat> so it will look like this in H2. Enter the keyword cluster here. If we have any external links, put them there. And then H3s. Then divide them by these. Uh, and so forth. And at the bottom, we enter all the information. This is the main keyword. And then we have the keyword cluster. Um, and all that SEO data. The SEO outline. And the review summary. Based on all that information, uh, we get this back. 
So search intent. Ah, uh, sorry, that wasn't it. We're down in this one here. This one. Now we get it back. H two. How is the world's most expensive coffee made? Good question. Um, might be too many H threes, but again, this is uh, what it does. We then review the outline. Okay, sounds fair. Um, once we are happy with the outline, we then send it to generate full blog post. Can I intercept that? Yeah, I could. So now it generating full blog post, it then goes in, writes an SEO title. You can see from the message. It's content no here. Ah, that was the input. On the output. There is the world's most expensive because I capped this. Um you can see some of the prompts in here that I want I want the AI to write really short uh, titles for my articles because in my opinion, they convert better. Um, you might have another opinion, um, and that's up to you. Um, I just like short and concise article or titles that has the search uh, keyword in them and has a good search intent or answer intent. So we actually send <clears throat> this information to Airtables while the article is being produced. So we can go here and see is I would then add the world's most expensive coffee worth it is because if it added the it would come uh, go over the limit of what I set it to because AI has a tendency to just write super long fluffy stuff if you don't constrain it. Um, but now it's writing each section. And that's why we had those um, those little arrows in there in the uh, outline. Because it breaks up each section like this. Then it breaks up in another section. And then feeds each of these um, section outlines into the blog writer we then save each of the outputs and then aggregate it into one long article at the end <clears throat> so that was the four paragraphs or sections we then aggregate that put that into a too long did not read or summarizer um, i just like this format some people might not but this is how I like it. Then send that back to our tables. And that was the whole article. So now we can see that the summary is put here. Then we have the intro. We then have the blog content. and so forth. The conclusion may be a bit long, then a short and tight um, meta description with uh, world's most expensive coffee in it. So let's go back to make, whoops, get back there. And all these nodes are constructed with a system prompt. You are an expert headline writer. Be self-critical, follow instructions. You never write headlines longer than 50 characters. So that's the constraint why I didn't add the to uh, the title before. And then we feed it um, this main keyword and we also feed it the block outline. And I have some headline examples here um, and some other stuff. Don't use ultimate best secret amazing like don't do that 
Then we have the blog intro. You're an expert writer. Your task is to write catchy blog intros to get people to read the full article. Again, we constrain it to don't write, so it doesn't write too much. And then we feed it more information on how it should be writing. This is taken directly from Google uh, on write to adhere to EAT. Then we add some avatar information. This is information about our persona, how uh, like they are coffee enthusiasts who like to X, Y, and Z. Then we give them the prompt, um, pulling in the information from air tables and feeding the outline. And that's more or less what it does all the way through. Image prompt is a bit different. Slug name, also a bit different, but still. Then we get up to router and then an iterator. The iterator splits the outline at these four here and then feeds it in to the block, <laughs> block uh, writer, um, which again has a system prompt. You're fun and engaging article writer and expert within expert description. Task with writing one article section out of X. So we are telling it you're writing one section out of a uh, multiple of uh, sections. Again, you're self critical about your writing, never add fluff. Uh, always write the most important information first. So that's just how I like the AI to write. You can add your own spin to it and have it do whatever you want in a system systematized manner. So we have a role assistant here taken directly from Stanford question answering uh, data sheet. This is how uh, you answer questions with the highest uh, NLP score. So we're feeding that information in to the article or to the AI, which means that again, we prompt it here with a lot of stuff how to write. Um, so here, for example, use the Stanford question answering data set uh, method to answer questions with as high as precision as possible um, right after the question is asked. This will um, say to the AI, please answer the questions by mirroring back the question uh, if possible, and then answering it. So like how Google likes questions answered, we're telling the AI, please answer questions this way, because this is what works for Google. So we might as well put it in. And then add after the initial answer is given, you can then elaborate on the topic. Um, then I ask it to write in Markdown start the section by writing these two and so forth. And then we feed it in uh, the outline and add all the information here. We add the outline plus the review summary. Then it loops through all those, generating the article, then summarizes it and sends it back to make. So that was more or less how it generates articles. Um, I can then say for when we are uploading to WordPress, we do a post WordPress here. Then we do markdown to HTML because WordPress wants it in HTML and not markdown when you're feeding it through an API. We then get, get the hero image. Um, we add a, um, what's it called? An alt text for this image. So all images we upload through Airtables have automatically uh, assigned an alt text. We then convert, if it is PNG, we convert it to JPEG, we resize it, then we upload the media to WordPress. We can then see here, we have the title of the image, which is the title, and then we have an alt text. We can add more if uh, needed here. And then we add the blog post itself with all the information needed. And 
that's more or less the uh, block generating script. So I hope you enjoyed this video, a bit more technical, um, but let me know what you think in the comments and uh, I'll see what I can do. Have a great evening or day, wherever you are. Bye.